Amore. Welcome back to GMA. That's right. <laughs> the prize goes once in a while. You can just sing the whole song. <laughs> I don't know the whole song. To be honest with you. <laughs> well, you know what we're about to do? We are about to crown another winner in our United States of Pizza competition. Two competitors in five cities are facing off for the first round, and each of those winners will come here to New York City for our finale, where they will compete for the title of GMA's Ultimate Pizzeria and... $10,000. This morning we're in Minneapolis. Becky is there. She's our pizza master of ceremonies. Good morning again, Becky. Robin, good morning. We are here at Malcolm Yards in Minneapolis. And when you think of this town, you probably think of the Vikings or Prince or land of 10,000 lakes. They're all frozen now. Minnesota in February. Woo! But I bet you don't think of pizza. You should. There is a thriving scene here. And we have got two chefs who have put a really unique spin on their pies. They are going to be competing for uh, the opportunity to have the golden pizza cutter of Minneapolis right there. And come to New York on Friday to compete for a $10,000 prize in the best pizzeria in America. So we want to introduce you to start out with Peter Campbell from Red Wagon Pizzeria. Glad to have you here. Are you excited? You Very ready? excited. Okay. It's amazing pizza. Fond me pizza. Next up, we have Jeff Rogers from Rectangle Pizza. to our judges. So we're going to start with Chef Justin Sutherland, who is the chef and owner of the Handsome Hog Restaurant. Then we have Ann Kim, who is a James Beard winning award chef. And she is the owner of Pizzeria Lola and Young Joni. And finally, the anchor at our local affiliate, KSCP, Chris Eggert, is here joining us. And they will be helping us to choose the best pizza in Minneapolis. <laughs> Know more about our chefs and their pizzas. Minneapolis is serving a pizza with a twist. Pizza's your best friend. <laughs> For Peter Campbell, opening Red Wagon in 2014 started out right at home. My grandfather started making pizzas with my mom and her sisters. I've looked at Red Wagon to be an extension of my weekly tradition of pizza. His creation, a pizza with all the flavors of a Vietnamese sandwich. We just basically took the idea of a banh mi sandwich and put it on a pizza. It's a 12-hour sweet soy glazed pulled pork pizza. My pizza is yummy. Across town, Rectangle Pizza is serving up good pies and good vibes. I always run into the best people here, yeah. old friends and new friends. We want to keep it fresh and we want to do stuff that other people aren't doing. Jeff Rogers is fusing his signature pies with funky flavors. It's essentially a biscuits and gravy, then we make a bacon jam, it just really sets it up. to test these pizzas and we're going to start out judges we want you to try out the banh mi pizza from red wagon pizza but peter what is the idea southeast asian flavors in a pizza well you can really put anything on a pizza in my humble opinion so we start with a heritage locally milled flour that's mm. our crust mm. then a little bit of cheese and a 12 hour soy sweet soy glaze pulled pork Ooh, on top that when pork. it comes out Woo. we've got a lot of other fresh ingredients include uh, our ginger pickled carrots pickled radishes jalapeno and jalapenos Woo. okay all right well it was a shock to the mouth it was so surprising Judges, what do we think? Justin, what do you say? I think it's delicious. Banh mi is one of my favorite sandwiches, and those pickles really, really tie it all together. Pickles, right? And what do you think? I love the balance of flavors, the acid, the heat, the creaminess, and the crust is fantastic. Chris, this is not your typical Minnesota pizza. This is unique. No, it definitely isn't, but very representative of our food scene here because it's an amazing place for really interesting and unique food like this. The pork was great. That's what really stood oh, out for me. It was to die for. Yum. Okay, great. Okay. To 
the breakfast pizza from Rectangle. Now, I would assert that all pizza is breakfast pizza, yeah. but this is an extra special breakfast pizza. What's in it? It's a very nice breakfast pizza. So we do uh, a pseudo Detroit-style pizza at Rectangle Pizza. So we have our focaccia bread that we make in-house. Mm. We've got sausage gravy on there. We have seven different kinds of cheese. We have oh. soft scrambled eggs. We have our bacon jam that we do, and then a little Jeff's kiss with the fried sage. Okay, you know Jay Sting, Jay Sting over here. Flavor. Taste it. Extra okay. Flavor. Now I just have to say, well, this is a this is a handful to That's eat because it's like a chunk of pizza, and That's I just give bravery points for you guys who just grabbed it and like went for it. Go. Justin, you were very refined oh. with the knife and fork. I saw that. Okay. Okay. What did you think? Um, it's delicious. That crispy cheese around the edges and that sausage gravy, absolutely, mm. it's unreal. And this, I mean, this is a lot of pizza. This is a full meal. Mmm, dang, but it's good. I mean, that, <laughs> that bacon jam, I don't know, other level, other yeah. level. It's like layer upon layer of taste, right? Yeah, so I'm with Justin on the, che the cheese and the way it's baked around the edges. Breast breakfast pizza is such a thing in the Midwest. Like, you go to any convenience store and you get this, but not like this. Right, this no. This is amazing. This is eggs and meat oh, man. and everything. Yeah, Next I mean, level. I mean, breakfast pizza was what we all lived on in college. But this is completely at the next level. Okay, let us get to the voting. So Oof. it's going to be tough, Justin. You have to start us out. I have Was to start. it going to be Red Wagon or Rectangle? This is super tough. Two of the most iconic pizza places in uh, Minneapolis here. Um, but you had me at the sausage gravy. Okay, <laughs> Rectangle Pizza, breakfast pizza. All right, and. And is it going to be the banh mi or the breakfast pizza? It's like choosing pick your favorite kid. Oh. I mean, honestly, I don't want to do it. I want to pick up both paddles, but I have to tell you, the wow. They're, they're such different pizzas, but uh, so amazing. What a great flavor wow. profile, but uh, maybe it's because it's breakfast time here. I, I have to go with Reg. Oh. Oh. Pizza, best pizzeria in America. And now, guys, as we throw back to you, we all get to eat these pizzas. <laughs> Everybody's a winner. Without this seems a like doubt. It was a really tough decision. Yeah. That's a tough decision. Yeah. Like, we're having a tough decision if we should eat this. I know. <laughs> the willpower that's happening right now is yeah. tremendous. Very strong, everybody. And tomorrow, we're going to do it all again with our United States of Pizza competition as it heads to Philadelphia. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.